All right, welcome back to LearnWire. And in this video, we're going to be taking another look at Tube Atlas. As you can see, some of the reviews, very positive feedback on Tube Atlas. I've uh, been following Dave uh, Gwinden for 10 plus years. He is legit, that's awesome. I'll be responding to comments on the channel as well, guys. You know, it's an awesome software right here. Very nice video. Thank you guys very much for that. And someone was having some payment issues over here. And I buy, if I have a choice to pay with PayPal, I always pay with PayPal. And that's uh, what seems to be successful. So I recommend always paying with PayPal first. And even if that's linked to your, your bank card, then it will use PayPal, which is a safer way to actually make purchases online instead of using your actual credit card number. And so that's why I just recommend PayPal. I've also... Uh, had issues in the past with Stripe actually ordering products with Stripe. My bank account, uh, my bank does not like me using Stripe to place orders. So sometimes that is a barrier for me, but nonetheless, and then great video would, you, would like to see you deep dive this tool right here. So, and then another, another person right here, this is awesome. So people are liking tube Atlas. This is a legit software. And so we're going to take a look at the software again and do a, some more research and another tutorial and demo. And this is a, a request from a, or a comment, right? So that's why we're gonna do this again. I will say that this is the last day that you can pick this up for, I believe it's $37. And this is the last day that you'll be able to pick up Tube Atlas with the price will be going up to $67. So you wanna jump in if this software is for you. So I'm over here on my desktop and you can see I have Keyword Atlas and I have Keyword Tube Atlas, the brand new software from Dave McGuinden. And I'm going to go ahead and it's a big success. There's been a lot, I imagine over a thousand sales. And we're going to go over here and someone else had asked, is this software, we're going to launch this. Is this software like TubeBuddy or VidIQ? I think I accidentally said Rank IQ in the last video. Again, these are unscripted uh, videos that I like to do, uh, more of a teaching environment, like we're doing a live classroom or something like that. And so I think I slipped and actually said Rank IQ, <laughs> VidIQ, Rank IQ, they both use IQ, right? And I use both tools. Uh, so sometimes, unfortunately, my brain interchanges them. But for VidIQ and TubeBuddy, I think this absolutely absolutely as an alternative to those two tools. Now using one of those tools, uh, the free version of it to get to do some quick research and things like that is are great. Um, I think vidIQ and TubeBuddy have their place in uh, YouTube research. But what I really like about Tube Atlas is that it brings another, it brings uh, far more depth into the research that you can actually do. It has far more tools. It's a one time payment, right? So if you want to get the pro access to TubeBuddy or vidIQ, you have to pay at least $10 a month for those tools. Uh, this is a one-time price, and this is not, you know, your typical bad rap software from JVZoo or Warrior Plus that the software is not going to get updated, and the support for the software is gone, you know, after two weeks after the launch, then they just say, good, see you, and then, you know, you go to the site a year or two later, and then the site doesn't even exist. It's not like that with these these Dave Gwinden tools. I mean, he has a suite of all these desktop, desktop software tools, and he can easily launch out a an update release and you can see right here this is the second time i'm logging into the software and there's already a new software version available and we can go download it look 1.0.1.9 download and then it tells you all the things that were fixed fix some several minor core issues fixed video tool from becoming unresponsive when no, no google results are found added short and youtube link detection look at all the things this guy is working on this full time this is his job He's updating the software like crazy. So we will, all you have to do is just um, update the software and we're just gonna push download real quick. It's gonna download. And then I'm just gonna say yes. I'm gonna accept the agreement next. Um, create my desktop shortcut, desktop shortcut, and then push install. And that's how easy it is to update this desktop software. And then we can launch. So that's how easy it is to actually uh, update the software. Super, super easy. And so you may as well, you know, this is basically the difference between a cloud-based. That is how the releases or the updates of the software, they get launched out to you. And it is connected. It is connected via the internet in some uh, some way, right? Because that's how he's able to launch these updates to you. Um, so it is using your internet connection and, and he's able to launch that out to you. Uh, so uh, I'll have to do a separate video for um, this video tube tracker and tube video translator. I did pick these up right here. <clears throat> 
And so those softwares look really, really fun to dive into, just have not had a chance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this real quick. And we're gonna go and take a look at the rest of the software today. But to answer that question one more time, yes, I do think that this is an alternative to vidIQ to Buddy. I also think that it, it has even more offers even more value uh, for what you're getting. And again, no monthly payments on the software. So uh, again, we're going to go and just kind of look at some of the tools. Again, this is only the second time I've logged into uh, the software. So bear with me if there's, you know, if I may be using the software wrong or something like that, but you can't really mess up too much. Um, we're going to come over here to seed keyword and let's just pretend we are doing, you know, it's, it's summertime. Let's say you're building a, uh, a, a niche website in the camping niche. So camping, I'm just going to say camping right here and say generate for keywords. It's going to go out there and start finding a ton of keywords for us right here. So we have all these different keywords right here and you can select them all um, select checks, select checks for all rows. And I'm going to turn that on select checks for all rows. So we're going to take all of these and then you can right click and you can send these to the trends tool. You can send them to the video search tool. You can send them to the channel tool right here. You can get search volume right here. And I'm, well, let's see if I can remember if you, click the search volume button and that's where you're going to get the free available way to get it through Google ads or story base. I'm going to close that down right there though. So once I have these 252 keywords, um, selected, uh, if you have connected your account to keywords everywhere, which I just think is brilliant that he added that in there, we can go in here to volume data, keywords everywhere tool, send selected. So they're all send all keywords. So you don't actually even have to push the selected. So we're going to send all keywords to the keyword everywhere tool. And we're going to say, go. And it's going to go out there and find the uh, search volume and everything for us. And just like that, and we can even maximize this. So now we're looking at uh, a trend graph right here, a camping rusher. I don't even know what that is, but there, there's 1600 volume. It doesn't have a cost per click. And then it ha gives you the one month, three month, um, six month average. And if it's a slope uh, trending or not. And I really like how you can do that because you can go after keywords that are actually trending. And that's important because if um, a keyword is just not is, is, you know, is sloping downward, then it's, it means that it's trending out and eventually you could, you could be doing a video on something with camping and eventually it could become obsolete where you're not going to get any traffic because no one's searching it for anymore. And then you can come through here and see like, well, this one right here, camping with Steve. No, we'll, we'll move that one camping in the rain. It looks like that that is actually popular and let's which month. So May of 2021. So this is great because during the, winter months it is not trending very well but then as you go into april and then look at may june july august so those are some really big months with this keyword so this would be a great keyword and that is with camp camping in the rain so i'm going to go ahead and maybe select this one real fast just to highlight and that's a nice tip as well if you just want to look at all the stats for a specific keyword across to the board clicking the um Clicking on it will highlight the entire row. And I said it in the last video, this is very like Excel or database driven. So you're looking at data in a different way than those other tools, now, like vidIQ, they're gonna, it's going to maybe display things like more, it might be more graphically appealing, but what you're seeing is a lot more data on the page with using Tube Atlas. So that's kind of just an analysis of like the difference of the way you're looking at the data. You're going to be able to see right here what th this is a cost per click. Um, there, there is some buyer's intent for this keyword it has some good average 5,400 search volume. And then the slope is down right here, but the trending spike. So here is where um, I would go with the total trend slope. It makes sense is lower, but the spike is going to um, be increasing really soon. And so the trending spike is, is what we would really want to be uh, focused on right here. Okay. So what you can do is you can come down into filters right here and I'm going to say show filters. And then this is where you add a filter and then you just got to learn how to use the tool. Once you get to know it, it'll be pretty easy. So we're in here and I want to go with the trending spike 
and I want to say I want it to be greater or equal to, and let's just look at 10. We want it to be um, at least a 10 and then just push apply. And then we can close this filter out. And now we're looking at 136 keywords right here that are all um, all have a trending spike. So it means that they're all going to be trending. Look at all these trend graphs over here. They're all trending right here, boom, right here, which is really, really cool. So now you have all these keywords that we can go and do further analysis on. And you can see all the search volume right here, like uh, tons of search volume if you wanted to go after the search volume. Now competition right here. So what we could do is just go, let's look at all the com competition ones that are less than 30. So I'm gonna go filter, show filter. Now I'm gonna add another filter right here. Uh, it's right here and we're gonna go with the competition is less than, less than, I'm gonna go 31. And then I'm gonna say apply. So then now we've gotten this narrowed down to 59. So super cool. So now looking at the lower competition keywords and now you have all the volume right here. And this would be uh, something that you could go in and I like the custom the customization of what you're looking at. You can move any of these in and out. I just, I love that, right? You can shrink this in word count right here. Uh, word count is good too because I like to go with some word counts, uh, higher word counts. In this case, there's not a whole lot that are higher than three. But look at right, right over here. So that's uh, more or less like the keyword research. We can go over here and we can save this uh, to a text file, a CSV file. We can save this project, right? If we want to load this product, so a uh, project. I'm going to save this project file and it's already going to be in here. So I'm just going to say right here. I'm going to say camping, low competition, trending, uh, something like that. And then I'll just say May 2022. Save. Okay. So we have all these keywords right here. Let's skim through them real quick. Like I'm not going to go with something that's extremely like just, uh, just really broad, you know, camping and backpacking, camping and fishing, right? We want to go with something more specific, like camping breakfast ideas come over here. This is going to really go uh, spike up in June and July and August. We, we know that it's going to spike up. This is, these are seasonal uh, niches. So what you could do is camping breakfast ideas might be a good one. And you could open up um, the file as well. So if we want to go over here, also go to file and we could go with uh, CSV file. And I'm just going to save this up here into downloads. I'm going to call it camping and push save and then you can come up here and double click and then this is what it's going to look like and then you can just highlight all of the data and this is an excel trick for you guys if you click up here in this little box up here it highlights all the data and then just double click on any of these cells in the middle right double click and then it's going to open up everything um, but we don't really want that on this first column so i'm going to go ahead and shrink that one back and then there you go, you have everything opened up. And then a lot of times I'll just like to maybe bold the the top line like that. So then you have your trending spikes and you can add your filters and so forth um, up here as well to look at it, okay? So right here, in order to look at this data, uh, what we would do is uh, we just come up here and we can go up to filters and the trending spike, right? Uh, we want this to be greater than or equal to uh, like we did earlier 10 <clears throat> so this is what you can do with excel and so forth all right so and we all we uh, we exported the 59 already so i don't really need that filter on so i'm going to clear that filter okay so we're going to look over here and one of the keywords we're going to go do some further research Maybe camping lantern looks good. So I might come through here and just highlight some stuff that I'd be kind of interested in. Maybe camping during a thunderstorm could be something good. Camping dinner ideas and breakfast ideas. Okay. So breakfast ideas has a, will have a lot of search volume and search intent. And it is has a spike as well. So camping breakfast ideas. Let's go back into the software. And I'm going to push close down here. And then now what we can do is you can go into trends tool, video tool, channels tool, 
and I'm going to go into videos and we're going to search this phrase camping breakfast ideas and push search and then it's going to extract all the data from all the different videos that are relevant to this topic in YouTube. We'll give it a minute and we'll be right back. So there's about 118 videos that it's going out and grabbing a bunch of data for. And it's actually pretty fast uh, to analyze for a keyword that you're going at. So normally what you would see in the other tools is that you would just put this in and you would get like a rating, uh, but it wouldn't be giving you all this data of 100 plus videos um, that are ranking uh, for this, right? Um, and then you can go in and look at thumbnails right here. Um, you can look at the search phrase uh, right here camping breakfast ideas look at all that so that's a search phrase um, and so forth you can see what the description is the title um, five healthy breakfast ideas for weight loss low camping uh, low calorie breakfast meals um, camping breakfast ideas so 11 super easy camping breakfast ideas right here that one might be a good one it has a lot of views and so forth so obviously we can stick some filters on this, um, but let's go and look at what data we get. We get the characters in the title. We get the amount of views, likes, comments, uh, length of the video, the uh, published. That would be cool if this was actually in minutes, but um, you could quickly calculate that. But it would be nice if it just said how long. Um, it'd be kind of cool if it even had like an average right here, what the average length um, video is. Uh, published, when was this published? Uh, published age of day, how many days? views per day, video earnings, some earnings per day. Um, if you wanted to do some email outreach, some of these have business emails. What category, subtitles, creative commons, yes or no, if you can actually use. So you can actually use this to find all the videos that you can go out and, and use to make a video as well. Then you get channel right here. You get you can just go click and go right to the YouTube channel if you wanted to. How many subscribers and what the exact tags they're using, which is super cool as well. So if we wanted to look at, let's see, what was something that might be imp important for us? The published age, okay? So if we wanna look at something that was published within the last 30 days, we could go and put a filter on, show filter, and we could go add a filter and go Published age in days, uh, we can go less or equal to and put the value of 30 in and push apply. So these are um, the only videos that have been published in the last 30 days. We're looking at these two right here and we can see the, the let's see right here how many views. So the one of them got 341 views. So it was only published four days ago and then we have one that got 3,000 views published 22 days ago. So you can get title ideas. We could obviously increase this um, right here to maybe 90 days and push apply. And then we're going to get more uh, videos to look at. But then it's going to give you all these ideas, all these different ideas that are working, right? So views, um, obviously this one worked well, this one, and so forth. So it gives you a lot of uh, detail into what you might want to make your next video on next we can go and put this in here camping breakfast ideas and do some uh, research into the channels uh, looking at them from the channel perspective and not just videos so it's going to go out there and find 112 channels right now and do some um, analysis and we'll be right back so again we have the search phrase camping breakfast um, ideas right here that's our main search phrase that we're going after we have our uh, title our description and these, let's see, I think this might be the channel title right there. And you could go out and find what channels are dominating this niche but based on videos, total videos, uh, total views, uh, subscribers, and estimated earnings, like who's making the most money. So you could put in a, like right here, earnings, let's just say anything over $500. So we'll add a filter, show filters. We will add a filter estimated total earnings and we're going to say a greater or equal to i'm actually going to go with one one two three one thousand and push apply and now we're looking at uh, 59 channels that have made at least a thousand dollars on their channel so again you can export this if you're an excel person you can export all this data um, at any point and do further stuff. Uh, you could even do pivot tables and really dive in to see what channels are working well. 
And you can see the types of links, Instagram, Instagram right there, uh, Facebook, amazon.com. So, uh, you know, this one right here doing um, affiliate marketing with Amazon, another one, Amazon down here. So Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram seem to be the mo most popular links. And here's something like Incog Incognito Kitchen. They only have 17 videos, um, 400,000 views, um, 5,000 subscribers. They made 1,200 bucks. So we could go and check them out real quick. If you click on them, it's going to take you to your web browser right to that channel where you can go and check out what's going on with this channel right here. And you could go and look and see what kind of videos they're creating by clicking on videos. They don't have a whole lot of videos, about five minutes, five to seven minutes is the average. You can go and just see what they are doing in their, and they only have one YouTube short, so it's there. They're not really having their success from um, YouTube shorts, but they did have some success. Um, they haven't published anything in a year, uh, but that is how you can do some research. Come back over to the software. So if you find, find something like Total videos, um, I wanna see something that has a relatively low amount of videos, but a, um, a high amount. So like right here, 1 million views. We'll go to this one right here and we'll highlight, we'll check mark that one. We'll right click, channels tool, analyze videos for the selected channel. You can actually do that and it's gonna pop open a screen right here where we can actually do even more stuff. So this actually uh, inside the tool will take us to their videos and we can see they have 33,000 subscribers and it looks like that they do a lot of different cooking type things. And you can look at all the videos there. It already took you two videos and you can sort by and so forth, right? You can come over here and extract the video links right here. So it just took 90 videos right here. And then we could add these links right here by clicking this, we can add links to videos tool or channels tool. I'm going to go videos tool right here. So then you have all these different videos that we can go in. Um, you can extract them by browser or content. Um, but I believe what we do is click on get data now. And it brings all those videos in from a channel. And then it's going to actually go out there and get all the data for that specific channel. So uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this tool. You can go, you can take a channel and completely reverse engineer and get all the data you would ever wish for from a specific channel, or you can do vice versa, find videos and then find from a video, uh, look at the channel. There's a lot of things you can do with this tool. It will take a little bit getting used to, to be uh, just being completely honest. This is it's just a very well-developed tool and there's a lot that you can do. So naturally you're not going to be able to just dive in and within five minutes, um, know everything about the software. But as you can see, it's pretty easy and self-explanatory. You right click or left click and there's uh, nice red buttons everywhere. And then there, your main tools are the keyword trends, video channel uh, tools. Those are your four main tools. You're going to spend the most time doing any of your research in, right? And so forth. All right. So if I select, I just wanted to see, because I'm not really sure what this analyze button, analyze video tags, analyze keywords in video titles. So you can push this analyze button as well. And this will actually give you the occurrences of inside the title of what you what is being used the most uh, in in the titles right so uh, that's really cool out of just those um, three right there if i come up here and select all and then we analyze the um, analyze keywords in the titles now you're looking at uh, griddle is very popular out of the 90 videos, griddle is used 80 times. So that is definitely a very popular uh, keyword. And you can see all the different other information right there. If we said analyze video tags, then it's going to do something similar. And it's going to give you all the most popular tags for all those videos as well. So some really, really cool data that you're going to be able to get now. Uh, the video detects, uh, remember, this feature, if we paste in a, a link right here, we can actually auto punctuate 
the text from a video. It's autom automatically going to transcribe. Go watch my first review on Q uh, on Tube Atlas um, because this is very useful if you want to turn your videos into blog posts. Um, it's already going to uh, you're going to have be able to do this very very quickly with this tool. Okay, and then there's the comments tool. Um, again, you can go and do research any video and all the top comments and you can actually go in and uh, go check out my other video where I went over this tool as well. So you can actually do all kinds of different things with the comments tool. And then he gives you a bunch of other tools by clicking on the tools button up here. There's one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven other tools inside of here as well. So um, again, I know that I there was, um, there's things that I'm probably missing inside the tool that you can do. But, but that is um, essentially what you can do with this tool. I didn't hit on the trend in this one. I did hit on it in the last video as well, but it is gonna be using the power of Google Trends in relation to the keywords. Um, and you're gonna be able to get nice fancy charts and the, the trend slope and trend spike is what I really, really like about the keyword research. So you can ease your way into these other tools over here, but I really think that um, the keyword, starting off with the keywords and just seeing what keywords um, pop up um, and then uh, you can, uh, getting the volume data, right? and using the keywords everywhere tool um, is going to be able to identify what the search intent is, um, if there's any cost per click, if they're, um, what the search volume is, and if it's trending. So that's where you start off with the tool and then you can start diving in further and further. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, deep dive into Tube Atlas. Again, uh, this is uh, May 27th. This is the last day. So go, if you're watching this video today, go pick the tool up if it's something that you're interested in very complex and very unique way of uh, diving in and doing market research in YouTube. I haven't seen a tool quite like this before, specifically for YouTube. So I think he really, really, Dave uh, Gwinden did a really good job with this tool. Um, and it's uh, going to be here for a really, really long time. You can see I updated the tool already the second time logging in. He's already come out with a bunch of updates and this tool, I mean, like if we went over here, just uh, I guess one, one other thing I'll do is that Keyword Atlas is his flagship keyword software. It's been out for years. And if I go click on it, I haven't logged into it in a little while. And if I log into it, I'm, I'm there's probably going to be one, an update to it. Nope, there's no update to it right now. But they just open very, very quickly, very, very fast, right? And I could go in here and start like camping breakfast ideas and I could just push start and it's gonna start, boom. It immediately goes out there in a real time and starts searching for um, keywords, right? So this soft, the, his softwares work, <laughs> okay? They just work and they are some of my favorite desktop softwares for SEO purposes. So go pick up Tube Atlas um, for 37 bucks. The last day you can get it, May 27th. Hope you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more software reviews. See you next time.